Emily's first time wearing Taekwondo Togo. Cha, let's go get your first belt. How to tie a Taekwondo belt? On one side of the logo, on one side of the belt, it has a logo. Put the logo on top and make a tie. Hello, this is Master Billy from Hong Kong Tunga One. Hi, I'm Emily. And today is our first episode, episode one of Taekwondo with Emily. And in today's first video, we will go over our first basic kick, up chagi front kick. Usually you can use the ball of your foot to kick or use the ankle and chin area to kick. I'll first demonstrate to you of how to do an apchagi and go into detail. So the first step of apchagi is to bring your back leg up to the front, kick with your ankle, and bend back. And then put your leg down in front and return. Let's try a few for Emily. And one. Kick. Okay. And put down in front. Okay. And two. Okay. And holding the target. So some important pointers when you do your apchagi is the timing of your kick. When should you start to kick? When you do your apchagi, you kick after your knee passes the target after your knees pass the target. That's the timing of the kick. If you kick too early, you will either hurt your knee or your kick will have no power. So make sure your knees, always knees must pass first. Remember to keep your ankle relaxed and loose. Okay, let's try Emily. One. One. Oh, good job. Two. Okay, it does come in. So for those beginners who are starting off with Apsagi, I recommend this training where you put your kicking leg up, make sure your supporting leg is facing the side, kicking leg is up, make sure you don't move your knee up and down, fix your knee at the same height, and one, extend and bend back, two, now this will help with your balance, and relaxing your ankle, Strengthen your hip flexor, the thigh. Make sure you relax your body. Okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. Two. Okay, change legs. Balance training. Oh, oh. Last ten. One, two, three, four, 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 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. And when you kick, make sure you use your calf muscle to press on the floor. It's like you need to push off the floor so that your knee goes up high and your kick becomes faster. And when you kick, it's better to land in front so you can deliver your power better and it's better for your balance instead of going So, when you do apchagi, most important thing is safety first. Make sure you don't just kick out your legs so strong. Make sure it's relaxed and controlled. Always bend first and don't forget to bend back. Just make sure you don't overextend your knee. But this is about the timing. Make sure you don't kick until your knee passes the target first. If you have any questions about Apchagi, please leave us a comment and I will be happy to help you out. Do you have a question, Emily? No. Okay, then let's just drill this 1,000 times. Okay, Emily, so how was your first Taekwondo class? It was hard, but I liked it. How was learning Apchagi? <laughs> she said it was difficult <laughs> to relax her ankle and body. Good job today. High five. <laughs>